What you doing, Ook? I'm getting ready to introduce this series of flats for the NPL convention. Oh, I see. What's a flat? Thanks for asking. Let me show you this PowerPoint I prepared. A flat is a puzzle in the form of a short poem from which words are missing. The goal is to figure out what the missing words are. The missing words are the answer to the puzzle. We also call this the base. Sounds kind of difficult. So how do you know where the answer words go? Oh, it's not difficult at all. The missing words are replaced by Q words, which are in all caps. You see them there? In this poem, the Q words are one and two. So if I take out the word one and replace it with the answer word, then this poem will make sense? That's exactly right. So what's up with the lowercase s after the word one? Lowercase letters around the keyword indicate plurals, past tenses, and that sort of thing. In this case, the answer is a singular noun that is used as a plural when placed in the poem. So how do you figure out what the answer words are? The answer words are related in some way that is given, given at the beginning of the puzzle. This is called the flat type. In this example, you can change word one into word two by changing just the first letter. So what's the number three after the flat type? That is called the enumeration, and it tells you how many letters are in each answer word. One or two? Since it's a first letter change, both words have the same number of letters. In this case, three. I knew that. Luke, I don't get what's up with the keyword two. It looks like it should be a verb in there, but two is not a verb. The keywords don't need to have any particular relationship to the answer words they're replacing. They could be a different part of speech, a different number of letters or syllables, etc. Really? Yes, sometimes the keywords even match the flat type. For example, if two answer words are transposals, that is, anagrams of each other, you might use star and arts as keywords. How clever! So, how does all this equal a gesuzni? That's the byline that tells you who wrote the flat. See? It took two people to write this? Apparently. Is there anything else I need to know? Sometimes a flat has more than one base. All the flat types will be listed at the top with their associated enumerations and often the associated keywords. So, do you know the answer now? Is it bat and eat? Correct. I did it. I solved a flat. And now on with the show.